guys, welcome back to another vlog. So it is actually Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. March 7th, and I just got my son, my three-year-old son, to bed, and I have quite a few things left to do tonight to prepare for the week. Um, next week is our final week before spring break, and let me tell you, I need spring break. <laughs> I am definitely feeling that teacher burnout. I am definitely tired. I am definitely ready. So anyway, it is 8.30 p.m. Normally on Sunday nights, I kind of take it easy. Um, I spend the time that I have kind of preparing for the week, whether it's like making my food um, for a few days or putting away laundry or sometimes I'll play The Sims kind of late at night, but tonight, I'm actually getting some work done and I don't usually work from home, but it's kind of a crunch time um, at this actual moment. Um, so it is the end of the quarter. Our grades are actually due tomorrow, Monday at 1.30 p.m. So I do need to wrap up my report cards. So what I'm actually going to do is work a little bit on my report cards. I need to add my comments. All of my grades have been inputted. Um, but I do need to put all of my comments on there. Now, keep in mind, I do have about 55 students, so this is going to take some time. However, most of the comments that I do are the pre-selected ones, so that takes a little bit less time. Um, and then I also need to prepare for the week, so I need to prepare my agenda for the week. This week in fourth grade science, social studies, we're going to do what's called a wonder week. So my dear, dear friend, Vanessa, she is Zest for Teaching or Vanessa Matroni on Instagram. Um, she teaches the gifted program third graders at her district. And she was telling me about this super fun project she had the kids do um, where they started out with a wall full of wonder. So she, and it was super cute. She made this bulletin board with all the kids' pictures on it and they each had a speech bubble and they were given, sorry, ignore my dog, he's trying to eat my rat. Um, they were each given a sticky note where they could put questions they had about anything that they could dream of, basically any question at all, like why is pee yellow? Or why do tornadoes happen? Um, pretty much any question that they had. So. What I thought I would do is because I only have my students for about an hour and a half every day because I am departmentalized, we're going to do a week of wonder. And so we're going to start tomorrow, Monday, by just exploring our questions, our curiosities. I'm going to share with them a few podcast ideas for them to just kind of get inspired and um, ask some questions. So tomorrow is going to be just about asking questions. What are we interested in learning about um, because they're going to be responsible for their own learning. So tomorrow will be day one of Wonder Week. And then hopefully by Tuesday, they will have at least one question about something that they will begin to research. And we're going to spend the whole week researching the item or the question. And then they're going to create a very short presentation about what they learned about their question. Sorry, Jack. This is Jack, everyone. And Jack is obsessed with Templetina the rat. He just wants to eat her. We have a dog gate over here specifically because of this guy. He just wants to eat her all day. Huh. I know. You're so misunderstood. We're going to go put him away. So like I was saying, we're going to do a little bit of a wonder week. So it's going to begin with just some basic questioning, some research, and then creating of a presentation. So I think it'll be a lot more fun than trying to like cram a bunch of stuff into a week that is leading up to a big break. Um, so I think it'll be fun. So I do need to create my agenda slides for the week for that and then finish up my report card. So that is what is on my to-do list. So we're gonna just jump in.
So every week I create uh, an agenda that I put a to-do list on for the kids to be able to log in and see what exactly we're going to be doing for the day. Um, and it looks like this. I believe these slides are from Teachers Pay Teachers. In fact, I know they are. I just forget who made them. It may be Teach, Create, Motivate. Um, I don't remember though. I could, I'm probably wrong. But anyway, so their objective is I can explore my wonders about the world by asking a question, researching the answers, and presenting my findings. So they will be creating some sort of presentation. So they will have to research Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then begin working on their presentations Thursday and Friday. Now I do have a school city test that I will be administering on Thursday. So I do need to account for that, but that usually takes like 30 minutes and then they're done. So we're going to leave time for that. And then the rest of the time they will have to research and make their presentations. I also almost forgot that this next week is spirit week. So tomorrow is tourist day. So I think what I'm gonna do is dress up like a Disney fan because tourist is cool and all, but a specific tourist like me, a Disney fan, sounds like way more fun. The voice that I keep hearing loud and clear. Is it just me? me. With and because it is spirit week. I get to wear jeans and or yoga pants and or whatever I want as long as I am dressed in spirit. Evenings, I am pretty much done with the plans for next week. My agendas are both finished. I also printed out, um, so my friend Vanessa uh, purchased this Wonder Wall activity from TPT um, and did share it with me, sorry. It happens. Um, but anyway, she sent that over and then she also sent a couple of copies of her students' assignments that they did. Um, I'm gonna be deleting the names from those assignments and then sharing them with my students so that they can see examples of what other kids did. And then, so that is ready to go. So now my next task is to begin report cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, play the Sims a little bit, and then I'm gonna get at least one subject's worth of report cards or at least one class's worth of report cards done um, because all I really need to do is fill in the comments. So that's really not gonna take too long. And I also have my prep time tomorrow. So fingers crossed I can get those done in time, um, on time, we should be good to go. Um, I love that my report card system pops up missing assignments like it says right on there. They're missing five assignments or they're missing four assignments. Yep, they are missing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of nice. So anyway, I'm going to sit here, work on report cards, play The Sims, and then I'll probably go to bed around 1030. I still need to pack my gym bag for tomorrow. And I already made my lunch for tomorrow. I'm going to have turkey with some zucchini. It's all taco style, so it's kind of like a taco bowl. I'll throw some sour cream on top of it in the morning, and then it'll be delicious. So anyway, that's what we're doing tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my Disney garb. Okay, update. 
I did manage to finish all of my report card comments. Yay, high five to me. I'm just waiting for them to come back approved and then my report cards are done. So what I'm doing now is posting some stuff for this week. The kids are taking a test on our Mesoamerica unit, so I'm posting that as a draft right now. And then I have about 20 minutes left so I'm gonna start doing some stuff for the week we return from spring break, just so that I'm ready and I don't have to stress the Sunday night before. When we come back from spring break, we will be starting to study earthquakes. So we'll be doing seismic waves, different types of waves under the Earth's crust, um, or sorry, under the Earth's surface, and then we'll be doing uh, about two weeks on earthquakes. So, um, you know, all the goodies that come with that. After that, we will study water, and then after that, we will get into like electricity and physical science and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start working on lesson plans for Monday coming back from spring break. So exciting. Hey you guys, so it is now much later in the afternoon. Um, it's about 6.30 in the evening, and Cash and I are running errands, so I actually skipped the gym today. Uh, because Cash was down for a nap and my neighbor who watches him had to leave right when I got off work today. So um, I did have to rush home to grab him. He finished up his nap and then I took today off from the gym to run errands, get groceries, do all of the things that are needed. We're vlogging. Say hi, baby. Hi. Say hi over here. Hi. <laughs> Where are we going? Yeah, we're gonna go see daddy. We're gonna go drop some dinner off for daddy. Uh, we picked up the chop shop. If any of you know what the chop shop is, then you know, you know. If you don't know what the chop shop is, it's like this delicious, like healthy um, place. They have like protein bowls and salads and wraps and sandwiches and juices. It's really delicious. Um, so we picked up some wraps from there and we're gonna take them to Scott who is meeting us at the border, we call it, because it's the border of Queen Creek and Mesa. So we're gonna go meet there. We're not gonna go to the jumpy place today, but you and daddy will go this week, okay? Uh-uh, go see daddy. Yeah, we're gonna go see daddy right now. Daddy's at the jumpy jumpy. Yeah, he's at the jumpy jumpy place waiting for us. So all that's left in our day is to go meet up with daddy we're gonna go home and make this one some dinner. I'm gonna watch The Bachelor because it's bachelor night. I usually watch The Bachelor and put laundry away at the same time, so it's kind of like my night of chores. Um, and I desperately need to clean my bedroom, so I'll be doing that tonight while I watch The Bachelor. Cash, I love you. I love you more. I love you most. He's back there watching SpongeBob. Hi, babe. Hey, hey, are we going to go to the police car? Yeah. Are you going to the police car? Yeah, babe. Are you going to eat while you're here? Or are you going to eat and run and eat? I'm going to eat right now, I guess. You want to climb in? No. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. Oh. You're cute. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs>
Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Today is athlete versus mathlete day. So I am dressed up like an athlete. You know, this is so athletic. <laughs> um, Tina, do you like my outfit? <laughs> she's like going crazy this morning because she's excited to be out. Huh. huh. Teeny. Teeny. My face is starting to look a little bit better. Do have some breakouts going on right now. Tina. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing for sports day. I realized this morning that I did not finish out the vlog yesterday. So today I'm going to finish out the vlog. So um, last night after Cash and I got home, we ended up um, making dinner and then we went to bed super early. I did watch The Bachelor though. And um, it was really good and it was what I expected. So, um, <laughs> I didn't end up actually going to sleep till like 1130 because with all the commercials, it takes forever to watch that show. If I don't start watching it like right at seven, um, I don't end up going to bed until 11. So I think next week we're gonna have to watch it on time instead of waiting until bedtime to watch it, so. Either that or I need to wait until Wednesday or sorry, Tuesday and watch it on Hulu so that I don't have commercials. I think that's what I need to start doing instead. Um, okay. So anyway, I'm here. I got 10 minutes till the kids come in. I don't have a lot of prep to do because kids are working on their wonder projects. Um, there are quite a few that think they're done. So we'll have to explore their presentations to make them better. And yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. It's a little bit gloomy outside, which is great. I love gloomy days. I love gloomy days. But Tina and I are gonna go. Tina, say bye. Tina, say bye. Say bye, Tini. Bye, Tini. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.